Ready na tayo. What I did was I took off the excess water using paper towel. Now you're using white vinegar or yung sukang puti. Rub it all over the skin at saka sa meat. Make sure na covered lahat yung meat at saka yung skin. For the ingredients, may tanglad po tayo. Onions. Nasa inyo na po yun if you're going to use red or yung white onion. I don't really measure ingredients, so ina-eyeball ko siya depende sa niluluto ko. Garlic na po tayo or bawang. Gusto ko talaga yung maraming bawang, kaya tinadamihan ko siya. Salt, bay leaves, ground pepper or durog na paminta. Rub the salt all over the meat. And then prick the skin. Ito, masarap to pag naluto na. Crispy talaga tong skin na to. Rub more salt sa skin. Then add the ground pepper. And rub it all over the meat. I added more salt and more pepper. Again, depending na po yun sa panlasa nyo. We have here the bay leaves. I crumbled the leaves and I spread it out. Add the onion and the garlic. Since I love garlic, I added garlic powder po. Add the lemongrass.
Yan, make sure na ma-fold mo talaga yung meat at ma-close. I, I almost forgot. You have to add the green onion leaves or the scallion. Nilagyan ko din siya ng paprika. Nasa niyo na po yan if you want to add paprika or not. Ang hirap pagtali ng belly pag ikaw lang mag-isa na gumagawa. Dapat may kasama ka para may hahawak sana but carry pa rin. What I did kasi wala kang kasama sa pag pagtali no. So I did both ends first. Tinali ko yung magkadulo. Then, uh, sa gitna naman yung tatalian para ma-close yung belly. Ayan, at na-close ko na ang belly. At ready na siya para i-marinate. Sa recipe na to, I added the soy sauce sa last. I rubbed it all over the skin. At saka tinaktakan ko din yung loob ng meat and set it aside overnight. After 8 hours, eto na po tayo. Ready to bake. Mmm, sarap ng amoy. I have here sesame seed oil. Mga around... A tablespoon 
and then yung soy sauce. Add pepper, ground pepper. Rub the mixture sa belly before siya ilagay sa oven. Make sure to coat the whole belly. Set the oven at 350 degrees. Ayan na, after 3 hours of baking. But we're going to put this again in a while. And set it to broiler para maging crispy yung skin. If you like the recipe, please give this a thumbs up and share. Please subscribe to my channel as well. Thank you.